the 20, 23rd I think, yes indeed it is, and my Hello Fresh box has just arrived for this week. As I said in the last video, I have uh, paused the third and final one until well, mid-August, possibly because I've just not been able to go and get through it. Anyway, today is not about the Hello Fresh, as I will indeed do another meal, and uh, I will put down in this video um, a couple of pictures of the other two meals that I'd made um, last week that came in the box and every single one of them was absolutely fantastic. I got three portions out the first lot. I got two, because you see the size of the chicken, I got two from the other box and I got three out of the pesto the pesto pasta so that's like eight instead of yep eight instead of six meals that i got all packaged and all in trees of the freezer so today what i'm going to do is i've just popped all the cold stuff and there's quite a bit to have went in the fridge today because there's, there was like mayonnaise was there cream cheese i can't even remember anyway i thought there were three chicken dishes it's two chicken dishes and a fish dish, so I will do one tomorrow and then I will probably just make the other two as I go along and then insert photographs in the next time that I'm uploading and some. I grated some carrots yesterday, but I like to put nuts, usually walnuts, inside my carrot cake and I didn't have any, so I've just managed to jump out there two seconds ago in the car. Didn't get walnuts, but I did indeed manage to get a small bag of hazelnuts and I did get the world's smallest cabbage I think for making my sauerkraut as I also mentioned in the last video they wanted four euros twenty or four euros twenty nine for a white cabbage which I was not giving them that well, money. We've got a how to make sauerkraut using fer fermentation method um, coming up in the next couple of I'm days. I'm also going to be making banana bread for this cake so this carrot cake has to get done today. So that's what we're going to do now guys, so let's dive right in. Okay guys, so first and foremost we will put on the oven and it is, oh let me see, 180 fan oven, uh, 160 if it's gas and number four. So get that on at the minute. So first of all, I do have two and a half carrots, I need to put my glasses on. There we go. So first of all, I have the carrots, two and a half carrots that I grated last night. So set that aside. 230 grams of flour. There we go, just enough in that bag of flour. That's it, near enough finished. And then uh, move that out of the way. And we shall sieve said flour. This is easy peasy to use soft muscovado sugar, but I don't have the soft stuff. I just have pure cane brown sugar, so that's going to have to do. And it usually gives it a nice kind of crispy, crunchy topping. My topping is usually it consists of mascarpone, icing sugar, etc. But I'm not going to be using that today for the simple fact I shouldn't have really beaten this, but I'm going to take a wee slice of day. Um, I really shouldn't have beaten it at all. Therefore, I shall indeed be putting it in the freezer and I'll show you what to do when you're putting your little cake in the freezer. A teaspoon of baking powder and I've not long found out that you can get it in France in little sashes. So that's what it's called in France. And French. And we have, on top of that, we do have some cinnamon. I just usually play this by ear, but 
It says about a teaspoon, I just put just about under a teaspoon. Then four spices is like a quarter of a teaspoon. And then we do have some ginger, same again, about a quarter. And there we go. That's that. I just actually just add everything all in the one mixing bowl. In with the carrots. There we go. In with the carrots. We have dried sultanas or raisins. And it's up to yourself how many of these you want to put in. I put quite a few in because I really do like them. And we do have, as I said, our hazelnuts. So I'll cut them up in two minutes once I gave this a little mix. Because normally you do all your dry stuff and then you add your wet stuff to your dry stuff. I'm just that used to making this probably two or three times a week. Um, but I can play it by eye. Right here is my measuring jug. My measuring jug here and we need 155 millilitres of oil, sunflower oil, Definitely not olive oil, sunflower oil or rapeseed oil, and that's what I've got here. Now let's have a look. So we need 155. And that just goes inside there as well. Make sure it's all out. On top of that, we have to add three eggs, medium eggs, or large eggs. There we go. That's what I'm saying, it's as easy as, sometimes it takes about 30, 40 minutes, sometimes it takes a wee bit longer. Um, there's a bit of the, the sealant away on my oven, my oven door, so, it's kind of hit and miss, you've just got to kind of check it. So if you've got it on for about 40 minutes, then continually check it every five minutes after that. This is the sugar I'm using. So I've got the tray behind me. It's just out of view and there's 230 grams of this pure cane. Or it's meant to be soft, but this is dry. It's all I could get. There we go. 230. That's why I am not allowed to have it. And I will more than likely suffer. But I shall indeed have a little slice. Once it's all cooled down. Just to show you the inside. And what it's like. Right, so that's how it's looking at the minute guys. And I will come back to you in five minutes. Once I cut up a few of these. Oh. Hazelnuts. Right, lovely people, that's what it looks like when you've gave it a right mix. You do not want to over mix it, and it's the same when you're doing a banana loaf. You do not want to over mix it. So, that's that done. The next step is, this is what I do, I don't butter. I use the same oil for the tint. Grease it up a bit, and I don't put the lining on the bottom either, as there's absolutely no need if you are oiling the side and the bottom well enough. Can you see that all shiny? What I use is one strip of baking paper, and I put it in. Let me see. And I put it in a long ways like that. With a little bit over high at the sides. There we go. 
and that's what I put in there and it's easier that it's just you can lift these wee handles once it cools down. I do have the spring sided um, cake tin so it makes it a lot easier as well. And I'm just going to show you these guys, another wee bit of, um, just another wee teeny bit of oil and I'm going to show you these. These are my little silicone moulds. And they got oiled as well. And it's wee plant pots. So, I usually make a few cupcakes with the same mixture that I make my cake. So I'll get a wee spoon and I will fill these up. If you want to do this, uh, this recipe and it has asked for soft muscovado sugar, then by all means buy it. But I only had the brown. I've always got brown sugar in. But as you can see, I just bought the pure cane sugar and that will do. But as I said, it will give like a sort of a crunchy topping to your cake. Or your little cakes. And yes, my hands are clean. And I'll leave that in there. There we go. And that's my three. I've got three of them. So I'll probably have that and I won't cut a slice of that cake when it's ready. I will probably freeze that full cake and possibly show you one of them. As you can see, it's quite stiff. And in we go. Oh. There we go guys, fingers crossed it comes out alright. Obviously a lot shorter of a time when you are making the little ones. So I'll tidy up and then I'll get back to you once that's cooked. Right guys, well that's my cake done. And my little mini cake is done and I must, um, I must apologise as I was so shattered once that cake had come out. I left it to cool down and went for a sleep and that little nap turned into two hours. I actually must have needed it. As as you can see here with the wee ones, I have got a lovely, nice kind of crackly, crisp top. Can you hear that? And here is inside of that one. It is, it is very, very nice indeed. And that's your cake there. And here is said cake. Mine's in fact did take 50 minutes, um, depending on your oven. I don't know if you can hear that when I was cutting, slicing through it, but it does have an absolutely gorgeous, crusty, crackly top, and that's because of the sugar. If you are indeed not wanting this crusty top, I take it that's why you use the soft Muscovado sugar. As I said, I have got the cane sugar the brown cane sugar only and um i would recommend maybe if you don't like it as sweet as to maybe reduce the sugar just a wee bit but there you are there's my lovely carrot cake mm. oh excuse me and it has got the lovely carrots to it. It's got your raisins, sultanas, and indeed the hazelnuts, and it is beautiful. See, it is so very, very soft. But as I said, the lovely little topping. Oh, that's absolutely delightful. That's maybe too big a slice. I actually want to show you what I do to wrap them up for the freezer. Oh dear, I must have been absolutely shattered. I don't sleep well anyway, but at night. But by goodness me, I could not keep my eyes open there earlier, so as I said, as soon as that cake came out of the oven, I had to lie down on the sofa. And my goodness me, a couple of hours later, I'm actually waking, so I'm not asleep tonight. So, 
see the half glazed or that parchment paper that I used earlier on. Just pull on the sides. Pull on the side like so. Just to try and hold that together. And then upside down onto a full sheet of the parchment paper. And this is fairly cool. Bring that over to the top. Bring that over to the top. Bring that over like so. Then it gets turned like that. And if you want to, you can these guys um, then take that and wrap it in some cling film. That's two bits of parchment paper. And then it's going to be two parts of your kitchen foil. And same again, upside down, because I want to make sure there's no freezer burn. Once it goes into the freezer, so making sure absolutely every single bit is covered up and no air can get in at all. So if you want after this you can cover it up with some cling film. But there you go. So there you have it. I will indeed put the recipe and the recipe for your filling and your, to your cake topping in the description below along with this recipe. But remember, I've used this instead of soft muscovado sugar, as I've said before. And uh, that's fine for me, and I like the nice crunchy topping, but I think next time I'll use a little bit less than what the recipe says sugar-wise, because it is very sweet. So, until the next time. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.